within each of us is a dreamer just waiting to be awakened. We all have the magic to unlock this inner child. But sometimes that inner child needs an invitation to come out and play. This is your invitation to dream. and welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video, video number seven, as you'll probably be able to tell from my Disney ears, is a Disney Parks themed video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you what I, what I would bring to the Disney Parks or, alternatively, what's in my Disney Parks bag. Seeing as though I am part of the disabled community, most of my tips and tricks will relate around a disabled individual visiting the parks. However, I do truly believe that most of these tips are universal and can relate to any park goer. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it brings some Disney magic to your day. <laughs> I thought it'd be good to show you just a close-up of my Disney Parks bag itself. This is the Disney Parks Emblem Lounge Fly bag. As you'll probably be able to tell, this is a rainbow pride bag, Disney Parks Emblem Lounge Fly bag. It is my first Disney Lounge Fly bag. And I love it so much. It's kind of like a hidden Mickey but for pack emblems which I think is really cool. Again the straps feature a rainbow pattern with the pack emblems. First I want to touch on the current situation and the packs reopening. Due to this in my packs bag I will always now carry a reusable mask. Along the same vein, I will now always carry a bottle of hand sanitizer. But to be honest, even before the current situation, this was always good to carry and keep handy after eating a meal, for example, at the quick service restaurants. Another really good thing and a staple to carry in your parks bag are the Disney ears themselves. These are a staple amongst Disney fans and really get you into the magical Disney spirit. Another staple for the parks and meeting characters is an autograph book. Autograph books are always an amazing way to commemorate your Disney trip. Something I would also really recommend is bringing the chunkiest pen you can find because although the face pals, like the royal court, the princesses, the fed pals may find this increasingly difficult. Possibly to the point where they can't sign. Another item I would really recommend is a spare change of clothes. This can come in handy from a disabled individual's perspective. As, as from a multitude of difficulties, for example, spasms. Spasms which I experience, for example, can be unpredictable and really, really uncomfortable, resulting in spills and stains. Preparing and accounting for this possibility could possibly save you 
precious time in the past. But my 21st birthday, I went to Disneyland Paris. And on my last day, I was actually wearing that top. I was intending to meet Wendy and Peter Pan, which I did. It was amazing. It was a really fun character interaction. That morning, sadly, I had a hot chocolate malfunction. I had a spasm and this resulted in me having to go change from a massive hot chocolate spill. Having another top, having another outfit change in your bag, ready for this eventuality, could, as I say, save you time. Outfit and outfit changes could also provide the opportunities for even more exciting and memorable character interaction and experiences. On the vein of Instagram and social media, a Disney themed outfit change presents the opportunity for a more vibrant and versatile social media feed, which is always good. <laughs> Having a hairbrush at hand and a bobble is always good in any theme park because it will allow you to switch up your looks and if you are on rides and your hair gets a little bit messy you can always easily put it up so that you can go on with your theme park adventure looking as amazingly stunning as you did when, when, you, got, when you initially got ready. To add another disabled son, a scrunchie or something sensory stimulating could provide a sense of comfort or reduce heightened levels of anxiety. Something that I would really recommend for the disabled individual in particular is to have to hand a blanket in either extreme temperature or weather because Believe it or not, blankets are versatile. They can, they can act as a barrier to the heat whilst you're sat in your wheelchair or they can keep you warm from the chill whilst you enjoy your feet pack there. Last but not least, the item I'll be sharing with you is a pair of preferably noise cancelling headphones these can come in handy if you find yourself in a sensory overload situation or environment. For example, the fireworks at the end of the day or one of the parades. Those crowds can get really busy. And make no mistake, they definitely do. Yes, perfect! Disney magic to your day. If you did like this video, 
please like, comment and subscribe for more content from me. That's it from, that's it from me for now T-Rexes. See you next time. Take care of yourselves. Bye. Thank you.